we will not be doing that tonight, but it is possible. Now we have reached the storytelling portion of the tour. So remember I told you at the beginning, Chicago's story is one of resiliency, of strength, tenacity in the face of problems or challenges. Well, I just want you just to keep that in your minds as you listen to these next couple of stories. So here is the first story. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871. Maybe some of you have heard about this fire before. It is uh, pretty famous as far as fires go. But in talking about this fire, we need to first separate the facts from the fiction. So I would like to start with the fiction. This is the not true story. Not true. This is the myth, the legend, if you will. It goes like this. In 1874, a cow, a cow. This is O'Leary's barn, so the story goes. Got very angry, very and purposefully kicked over a kerosene lantern which started the whole barn on fire and soon the whole city on fire. Now this cow, this is O'Leary, they are trying to record to become the greatest urban inferno of all time. Maybe that story might sound familiar to some of you, maybe somewhere along the way someone told you about a cow that started a fire. Well, I'm here to tell you that the cow part is not true. Now it is true that Mrs. O'Leary, she was an Irish Catholic immigrant in Chicago. She did have a barn. And it is true that she had a cow. And it is true that we believe the fire did start in her barn. But there is no proof whatsoever to pin it on this cow or Mrs. O'Leary or anyone else for that matter. We don't know how this fire started. And we never, never ever will. But the city of Chicago, they actually they did officially exonerate Mrs. O'Leary and her cow very swiftly in 1997, so that's over 25 years to do so, but they cleared her name. And like I said, we'll never know exactly how the fire started. My favorite theory, though, there's lots of theories out there. My favorite theory is that it might have been actually a meteorite shower that started this fire. But here are the facts that we know. In the mid-1800s, Chicago's population is exploding with industrialization, all these new jobs, and our building of buildings is trying to keep up with all this population growth. But the problem was that we were building everything out of wood. When I say everything, even the streets and the sidewalks of Chicago, they used to be made out of wood. 